Hey folks, welcome back. Have you gotten your eyes checked recently? All this month of September, we're learning more about myopia or nearsightedness and what we can do to alleviate myopia and take better care of our eyes. So on behalf of our sponsors at the Oregon Optometric Physicians Association, Cooper Vision, Macu Health Zeiss, and XL Specialty Contacts, let's learn more with Nicole DaCosta. I'm excited to speak with Andrew Biondo, a doctor of optometry with Kirkwood Eye Associates, about X-Cell Specialty Contacts. I appreciate you taking the time today. Yeah, thank you for having me. You know, let's start with educating our viewers on what exactly is myopia. Yeah, myopia is uh, just a clinical term for nearsightedness. So this is when the, uh, the power or the optics of the eye are too strong. And instead of light being focused back on the retina, it's focused in front of the retina. And what this means for us and our children is that we can't see things properly further away. It makes things blurry at a distance. And this needs to be corrected with glasses, contacts, or refractive surgery in adults. Exactly. And X-Cell specialty contacts are focused on our success. So tell us about X-Cell. Yeah, X-Cell is a wonderful company. Um, I've worked with them for many, many years they uh, specialize in unique contact lenses. So, so not your everyday one size fits all contacts, but custom lenses for custom solutions to, uh, to patients' needs. And they're very patient centric. So they make everything from custom soft lenses to lenses for pa patients with corneal diseases. And like we'll talk about today, these uh, overnight ortho K lenses that can help slow down and improve uh, children's vision who have myopia or nearsightedness. Exactly, because I was going to talk about the products and do kind of a deeper dive. So including the REM lens, um, how can that benefit someone who is myopic, um, maybe as a management solution? Yeah, so uh, the REM lens is what we call an orthokeratology contact lens or ortho K lens. These lenses are worn, we say kind of like a retainer. They're worn at night. Uh, they're taken off in the morning. Uh, they actually help to mold a child's cornea in a way that corrects their vision. So if they are nearsighted and they wear these overnight devices, they will no longer require daytime contact lenses or glasses in order to see 2020 at school, during sports, and other activities. Uh, these lenses also, uh, because of the way they mold that cornea, help kind of trick the visual system into thinking that eye is already too nearsighted. And therefore, they slow or stop the progression of nearsightedness in childhood when it tends to, to develop most. Wow, fascinating. I like how you you know likened it to wearing a retainer, right? You go to bed, you put that in. This is very similar. Now, this word, I hope I get it correct. Um, I wanted to talk about the efficacy of orthokeratology as a method of treatment um, and some of those benefits that you noticed. Yeah, so as most people know, if they are nearsighted, most nearsightedness develops during childhood. You know, some point in elementary school, middle school, or even high school, you become nearsighted, possibly need contacts or glasses. And when you're a child every year, you tend to need a stronger prescription. You go back to the eye doctor and they say you went up again and you update your, your prescription. In adulthood, that tends to stabilize to some degree. Um, with orthokeratology, it's one of the methods and, and, and arguably the most effective method we can use to stop those annual jumps. So if a child walks in and they're nearsighted or myopic, we can't get rid of that nearsightedness necessarily, um, but we can stop it from kind of worsening every year, keeping them in a more mild and manageable uh, refractive state with, with lighter prescriptions and also reducing some of the ocular health risks that we see in patients who are more myopic or more nearsighted. So ortho K kind of helps stop or at least slow that progression during childhood, which makes it an extremely powerful tool, both for functionality because of the freedom for day, from daytime contacts and glasses, but also from a long-term health and functionality standpoint as well, you know, well into adulthood and beyond. Right. And the timing is so great. It's back to school time. And it sounds like kind of catching this early is so important. So how can parents best educate themselves and kind of advocate for their kids in this time? Yeah, I think the easiest thing is, is to get an, an eye exam uh, and inquire about different treatment options if myopia is detected. Um, if you're looking for some good objective, just information on myopia control, whether it be orthokeratology or other forms, um, the American Academy of Orthokeratology and Myopia Control is a very kind of nonpartisan body that uh, is, is uh, built around educating the general population about myopia and ways to control it, especially in children. 
Yes, I've learned so much. I know we're all learning so much this month. So I appreciate your time today. And you know, everyone at home, this September, be sure to schedule your eye exams for yourself and the students in your life. For more information and to sign up for an exam, visit OregonOptometry.org. And from there, you're going to be able to learn more about the sponsors of Eyes on Myopia and all the ways that you can schedule your eye exam. For more information about Excel Specialty Contacts, visit ExcelSpecialtyContacts.com. I appreciate your time today. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you for having me. On behalf of our sponsors at the Oregon Optometric Physicians Association, Cooper Vision, MacuHealth, Zeiss, and Excel Specialty Contacts, we look forward to learning more about myopia all this month. It's a good time to schedule your annual eye exam right now.